Let's welcome to the show former Deputy Assistant Attorney General Tom Dupree, former Congressional Investigator Sam Dewey. Good to see you, gentlemen. First to you, Tom. IRS whistleblowers, they look stunned. Democrats kept trying to bring up Trump. The whistleblowers testified they never saw such political interference in all their years at the IRS, Tom. Liz, this was absolutely mesmerizing testimony today, and I, I'm sure anyone who was watching it couldn't help but be riveted. I mean, look, this kind of confirms what a lot of us suspected and were worried was going on behind the scenes. So this investigation dragged on for years, and then to hear it personally from someone who was really leading the investigation and said time and again that at every turn in this investigation, he was blocked, he was stymied, he was prevented from pursuing the truth, that serious charges were downgraded to more moderate charges, it's so disheartening. And the fact that okay. this is a guy who is a Democrat, He's not a partisan, makes his testimony all the more compelling. Yeah, so what Tom just said, Sam, IRS whistleblower Joe Ziegler testified a DOJ political appointee said, appointee said you can't inter interview Joe Biden's grandchildren. It would get us into hot water. That they had proof Hunter Biden evaded hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes on millions of dollars in income from overseas deals. Sam, we're going to show the fake deductions Hunter Biden took. Hotel rooms for drug dealers, sex club memberships, college tuition payments for his daughter, things like that. We understand what Hunter Biden endured and suffered through with his tax addiction, but this story is bigger than that. No, I, I think it is. And I think that the testimony is just depressing uh, to hear this, to see these individuals who are very credible, credible uh, run through all of this. And it just raises so many questions, particularly when you consider that what they're saying directly contradicts what the attorney general assured us would not happen. And the attorney general on June, 30, on June 30th and July 10th was contradicted by David Weiss. David Weiss is now saying he did not have authority. He had some promise of future authority if conditions are met. Taking his most recent two letters at face value, the attorney general's testimony was not accurate. And this is just a mess. And I really commend Chairman Comer for having this hearing, because quite frankly, other than his committee, Congress really has not done enough to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, so, they, yeah, go ahead, Sam. I mean, they need to move, and they need to move now. Compare this to the Trump impeachment. There was a transcript. The White House released it immediately. All the corroborating documents are in the possession of the Department of Justice. They are fighting a client of mine tooth and nail in federal court on a Freedom of Information Act mm -hmm. to decline production. Okay. They're refusing to produce you know, to the Hill. There's also this. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene asked why Democrats are not talking about Hunter Biden's abuse of women. Hunter Biden treating women, she said, as if they were, quote, office supplies, asking if Hunter Biden violated the Mann Act, Tom, bringing prostitutes across state lines. Watch the fireworks here. Uh, so when, her, when Hunter Biden paid for this woman to do this with him, to travel across state lines from California to Washington, D.C., on June 15th, this is a violation of the Mann Act. This was prostitution. This, this is evidence uh, Chairman, of, of Hunter Mr. Biden Chairman, making sex, excuse it's, me, this is my time, making okay. pornography. Should we be displaying this, Mr. Did, Chairman, did, 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 in the committee? Did a lady's time's expired. What do you think, Tom? Well, look, I, I mean, whether or not he violated the Mann Act, I mean, who's to say? I don't know the evidence, but I would say this, is that you can't have a huge amount of confidence that these types of allegations were appropriately pursued within the IRS and within the Justice Department. From what we heard today, many of the line attorneys and the line investigators did uncover all sorts of evidence of serious misconduct, in some cases criminal misconduct, but they were prevented from fully investigating and from developing the evidence and the testimony and the documents that they would need to make a case. Yeah, so, that's it. You know, Look, whether or not what you're saying is true, we're just not going to know at this yeah, point. Yeah, so what Tom just said, the, the diversionary distraction tactics by the Democrats are falling apart. Sam, we're going to show what the whistleblowers said, that DOJ political appointees appointed by Biden, Biden put up roadblocks every step of the way to protect Joe Biden. Assistant U.S. Attorney Leslie Wolf blocked search warrants of Biden's Delaware home, even though she admitted evidence could be there. That's according to the testimony. Blocked searches of Hunter Biden's storage unit, even though they have probable cause. That prosecutors concealed evidence from Hunter Biden's laptop. 
Blocked even mention of Joe Biden's name during witness interviews and then tipped off Biden's transition team in December 2020. What do you think, Sam? I mean, it's just a list and a list, and this is why it needs to be pursued. And again, I come back, this hearing is great, but we know there are some 2,500 pages of documents collected directly on this issue. DOJ won't produce them. We need subpoenas from the Hill for those. The individuals aren't coming in. They need to be subpoenaed to depositions now. Schiff didn't hesitate when he was investigating. Why are we? Yeah, so what Sam just said, are these obstruction of justice felonies, Tom? What do you think? Well, they, look, they could be. I mean, if you have a situation where there were individuals who knew that there was a lawful investigation and they improperly tried to thwart it or stymie it, that could provide the basis for an obstruction charge. I think what needs to happen here is we need to hear from other people within the IRS, within the Justice Department, as to why this investigation was blocked, who made these decisions, who actually blocked it, what was the reason for the charging decisions they made. The Attorney General has said he's comfortable having David Weiss come and testify. I hope he'll take him up on that opportunity and actually be forthcoming uh, and share his views, the decisions he made, and why people apparently under his supervision weren't allowing this investigation to move forward as it should have. Tom Dupree, Sam Dewey, thanks for joining us tonight.